Hey there again, Simplistically Digital here. Let's talk about HDDs and SSDs. They are two types of storage devices that can be used in computers. HDD stands for hard disk drive and SSD stands for solid state drive. They have different advantages and disadvantages depending on your needs and preferences. Here are a few of the main differences between them. HDDs use spinning platters and a moving arm to read and write data, while SSDs use flash memory chips that have no moving parts. HDDs are cheaper and offer more storage capacity, while SSDs can be more expensive and have less storage space. SSDs are faster, lighter and more durable and use less energy than HDDs. HDDs are more prone to mechanical failures, noise and heat, while SSDs are more resistant to shocks, vibration and extreme temperatures. Some people prefer to use a combination of both HDDs and SSDs in their computers, where the SSD is used to boot the operating system and run the most frequently used applications and the HDD is used to store large files and backup. This way they can enjoy the benefits of both types of storage devices. Now let's talk about migration. SSD and HDD migration is the process of transferring your operating system applications and data from a hard disk drive to a solid state drive or vice versa. This can improve the performance reliability and lifespan of your storage device as well as free up space on your system drive there are different methods and tools to migrate your os from hdd to ssd depending on your situation and preference some of the common steps are backup your entire drive to an external device or cloud service in case something goes wrong during the migration check the compatibility and size of your new SSD and make sure it can fit in your PC or laptop. You may need an adapter or enclosure to connect it to your system. Clone your HDD to your SSD using a software tool such as Disk Genius or Clonezilla. These tools can copy the entire contents of your HDD to your SSD, including the boot sector and partitions. You may need to resize or delete some partitions to fit the smaller SSD capacity. Swap your HDD with your SSD and update the boot order in your BIOS or UEFI settings to boot from the new drive. You may also need to activate Windows again if you're using Windows, of course, using your product key or digital license. And then you can clean the original HDD by formatting it or securely erasing it and use it as a secondary drive for storage or backup.